everyone, today we are going to be looking at set number 76194, Tony Stark's car, an Iron Man mech, Hulkbuster race car, all in one, with three minifigures, let's go. Oh yeah, and it also transforms into a car, that's on the back of the box, it also transforms into the car, which is pretty cool. Shoot. So as always, we're going to take a brief look at the minifigures, and the first one up today is Valkyrie, and uh, she's a pretty good minifigure, um, no leg printing or arm printing, which is made up by this really cool torso print, I think it looks really good, really good. On the back, it um, the hair kind of um, covers some of it up, and if you look, lift up the cape, there is some pretty good printing on there, and you do get a pretty cool cape, like a shoulder cape. Just like the th one Thor has in Thor Ragnarok, and it looks, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, her face print's pretty good. She doesn't have a back torso, I mean, <clears throat> back face print because this unique hair piece right here, and it would like s show through the hair piece, and it would, that would look really weird. So she doesn't have a back face print. Overall, I think the figure looks pretty good. Swapping the figures out to the Watcher, and I think this is a real disappointing figure. Not because of the printing or anything, but LEGO should have definitely used the head for the new Thanos this year. Where it, like, the big figure can actually rotate their head. Which is brand new for this year, and I think it would have been perfect for this minifigure. Because if you've seen some of the concept art, or just even the What If show, you probably would have seen his, um, the Watcher's huge head. So, yeah, um, other than that, the torso printing is okay. It's pretty good. But, and he also comes with these two capes. Pretty cool. After I take him out of the Hulkbuster, our finding minifigure up is going to be Tony Stark himself. With a pretty simple and pretty good torso print. Um, some simple printing on the back. And, um, nice, um, gold printing on the shirt there. Like a t-shirt. Looks pretty cool. Um... As always, Tony Stark has the same face print that he has had for years now. Just the, like, technologically advanced covered up face thingy with the blue printing. And then some normal, just front face printing. He's had that face for years now, so it's not new at all. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be the it for the figure. So let's take a look at the main build. Or two builds, I guess, if you really want to consider it like that. So with this small $30 set, you get two builds. You get the Hulkbuster, which I'll have to lift up off the camera stand. It's not too big. Um, it's decent size, though. Um, and then you have, like on the back, it's just partially shown, is the race car part of it. And we'll take a look at the race car in a second. So, uh, yeah, this Hulkbuster is really unique in the way it's designed. In the colors, that is. Uh, the internal structure and, like... The way the arms and legs move are just like the same, pretty much the same for any other mechs. Whoa, whoa. Any other mech for this year. <laughs> uh, that wasn't supposed to happen, but uh, except for this part, which is pretty unique. Um, you got this little wrist thing that swivels right here, and I think that's a pretty good idea. But this piece right here, and the same thing for the this side right here, is that it kind of limits the amount that this can rotate because of this piece right here and it's kind of blocked right there so that's not really the best but the build is really unique and I gotta give it credit for it does look really good I think it looks pretty good for a Hulk Buster it's really unique it stands out it's bright and colorful and um the way that like Tony Stark is concealed within the the mech I think does look pretty good you got a little sticker right here with the control panel I think that looks pretty nice um you can't really see very much of the inside, which I think is a huge, really good thing. Um, because in some of the past mechs, some of LEGO's past mechs, they've just, you've been able to see inside of them. Kind of like, like I'm about to bring out for comparison, the Iron Monger. The Iron Monger has a really bad problem where you can see a lot of the inside of the helmet right there. So you can see that. Um, compared to, comparison wise, they're not that much smaller. They're not much. The Iron Monger's not that much taller. Um, so they're still they're pretty decent size. But that's enough of that. Let's 
Uh, I guess we'll look at the race car now. So after I had to remove the legs and part of the arms, this is what the race car form of the Hulkbuster is looking like. And I like this a lot less than the Hulkbuster form. Just simply because of two things. One, it's a race car and I don't really like when Marvel superheroes have to have cars or any sort of vehicle. It really just doesn't make any sense because they're heroes and they shouldn't need vehicles. But for this situation in the What If episode, I suppose that this would make sense. And uh, the number two reason why I don't like this very much is just because it's not very smooth and like a normal sports car would be. It doesn't have a very good structure right here. It can go down and break very easily. This doesn't stay in place very well. This part right here doesn't stay in place very well. Um, and just this part isn't smooth at all because it's not really supposed to be like that. Come, just kind of just sticks out right there. And so just with the, some of those things in mind and just like how exposed this thing really is, it's not a very good race car at all. I'm sure that in the situation in the episode, like I said, and I'm going to say it again, it would make sense for the car to be there, but I just I just don't like it very much. So I think the Hulkbuster build is pretty good, but I don't like this as much. So let's conclude. So overall, I would recommend this set if you do like having Hulkbusters or like Iron Man mocks or whatever or mechs. If you are into those sort of things, I would definitely recommend this set because I do think it is very unique in the way that it is built. Well, at, not actually in the way it's built, but in the way that it shines through the color. It is a very bright build, and I do praise it for that. It does look very good. And the figures in the set are pretty good, even though none of them have leg printing, which is normal for Marvel. Uh, they do look pretty good. And uh, yeah, for $30, I would definitely consider picking this one up, but definitely not for the race car build. I just don't think it looks very good. It doesn't like stay up off the ground very well. And overall, I wouldn't buy it for that. So I will see you all next time as it is the end of the review. Goodbye.